Octopus Prime with Cooter Report for the Skeptic Fence Show. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bag me some horn kickers tonight. Well, let's see who we got this week. A viewer writes in, Pat, I am concerned. I've been unemployed for six months and about to lose my unemployment benefits. I will then be cashless. 100 resumes submitted and only three job interviews. I'm numb, have lost my motivation, have no energy, nothing happening but bills, mortgage, and I have been giving 20 to $40 per month to CBN and others. What can I do? And God bless you. Well, it seems to me the first thing you could do would be to stop giving money to Pat Robertson and people like him. If your bills are piling up and you're, you don't have a job, the first thing you do is cut out the extra expenses, which includes things like giving money to Pat fucking Robertson. Ask God what he can put in your hands. You know, there are a lot of jobs you can do yourself. Uh, I mean, telephone marketing, for example, you can, you can do telephone marketing from home. There are a lot of people who use their own telephone, make telephone calls. And you can get paid for doing it. Uh, so, so Pat's fucking argument or his solution here is become a telemarketer using your own phone. Just find some company that will pay you like a nickel a phone call and just sit there on your phone all fucking day long try and make ends meet. Pissing off other people who are trying to like eat dinner and shit. <laughs> How ironic would it be if they were the ones being pulled away from the 700 club because they got all these telemarketer calls because that's the fucking solution that Pat Robertson gave him. Oh, what poetic justice that would have been. Uh, but come on, Pat, you've got to have some, some better solutions to really get people working. Let's hear them. Think about breaking, breaking leaves, mowing lawns, trimming bushes. I mean, there are thousands of things you can do on your own. Don't always wait for somebody else to hire you. What? What? How, how is mowing lawns and raking leaves going to, like, pay the mortgage, put the kids through school, you know, pay your auto insurance, pay for, you know, pay all your bills. You, you complete fucking it. You don't always have to wait for someone to hire you. You could always mow your own grass because that's somehow putting money in your pocket. Hey, but if you do get, by the way, get like if you're a doctor or a nurse and you end up cutting grass because you're fucking so unemployed or so underemployed, then make sure to take 20 to $40 of that and send it to Pat fucking Robertson so he can tell you to, how, how to really solve things by like cutting grass or telemarketing. Th thanks. Thanks, God. Because obviously it's God giving Pat Robertson this fucking information. Thank you very much, Lord Jesus Christ, for the 700 Club and all the wisdom we get from Pat fucking Robertson. Oh my God, it can't get any worse, right? But ask the Lord, you, when you send that $20 or $40 off, you say, God, I am putting a request along with this. I am investing it with power. So obviously, Pat Robertson's last advice would be to stop sending him money instead it's like you know you've been sending us money but now send us money and be like lord i'm investing this money in some good luck getting a job because everyone knows if you get a job it's god done did it god went there and he put it filled out the application with all your information god went to the fucking interviews God fills out the fucking W-4, the W-9, and all the other tax fucking information that you got to do. It's all God. Thank you, God, for doing all that hard work. It's not like I go out and look for a job. Just God is supposed to just drop one right in my lap. Oh, you know why Pat Robertson thinks that's a viable fucking solution? Because that's what happened to him. He just sat there and he's like, hmm, I wish God would just drop a job in my lap. He's like, oh, you know what? I just tell other people that they should have God drop a job in their lap and they'll pay me for it. Boom. 
And Pat Robertson does. He, he gets away with this shit. There are people dumb enough to even ask him advice. Hopefully this is just a troll. Someone just trolling him, seeing what his response would be. But if this is really somebody sending their questions to Pat Robertson after saying, I pay you money and I can't find a job and I, yeah, I got a mortgage and bills to pay and his advice is telemarket or fucking, you know, mow your grass, then then you're, you're, the, you're the bigger idiot than fucking Pat Robertson. And both you and Pat, Pat Robertson win the Cooter Award for being the dumbest horn kickers I could find this week. Until next time.